Hi, this is Miranda from My Scrappy Life and welcome back to my channel. This is another process video for Scrap Timber where it's a video a day and Laura and I are doing our scrap lift Sunday. And here is the scrap lift that we are doing. She found it on Pinterest. And let me tell you, I'm gonna tell you, this is up on a day late, so this is going up on Friday, on Monday, and she did hers on Sunday. I have been busy, busy. That's why you haven't seen a couple of days. I took a couple of days off, which I'll catch up in October to kind of go backwards a little bit. But I will have some throughout this week here as well to just keep up with everything. And what I decided to do is, is that on this scrap lift, they have little pieces of paper on the side. I decided to only do one and then go through. So while I was watching a live, I did all of these little bits here as fussy cutting from the Dear Lizzie collection, the new one that says she's mag magical. Now I did a, um, the hip kit, but I also did another um, order for this particular one. Oh geez, it's on its way. I think I did it this past couple of weeks or whatever, and now all of the pieces were in from a cherry on top, so I added that as well. And I'm getting that in, so I can't wait to keep using this collection. So the hip kit used a little bit of the Indian Summer from Pink Little Studio, and did a lot of the collection from the Dear Lizzie collection. I really, 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 really love this collection. I do have to say that I do enjoy it. And I'm glad that I did get more of it coming in because it's very vintage, very me. This is one of the layouts or one of the photos from the wall, the wing wall in Morrisville when I was visiting Amy. And what I decided to do here was is that I wanted to take my black ink because we got the stamp in for the hip kit main collection and I wanted to pull in some black. So I thought that doing the black for the stamp set would be perfect behind this. Now this the picture that you see is of me pointing down it's a blue background with white wings. I'm just got my foot up against a wall. I'm down, or I got my legs crossed, I should say. I'm looking down, and you know what? I absolutely love that this is my happy place. It is very much me. I am going to actually frame this layout because it's got all my reading on there. Obviously, I love the scrapbook. It's just really me. It's got, it's going to have all of my little bits that I love at home. And that's why I am going to hang it up in my um, scrappy f space, my craft room space. And I'm probably going to hang up. I've got one more that I want to hang up as well. And I'm going to hang that one up too once I get it done. And then I'll figure out if I want to do one more hung up. I think I may do three instead of just two, but I'm not sure yet. But here I am now placing all this. So she goes from kind of like up on the top and then down on the bottom. And I do that pretty much. Once you see what I do here, you'll see that it does actually veer down and then go up. And here I am, I'm trying to get this completely right and put it down so that I can glue this down as a whole piece. Um, but I wanted to do some more stamping so that's what I'm doing here I'm just wanting to make sure that it all sticks out just a little bit here and there and I just oh my gosh I just love how this looks so I am doing this for scrap timber obviously like I said I did take a couple days off however scrap timber I'm like completely I will be honest go to Laura or Natalie Bowers YouTube channel and click on today's and you'll see who it is because I am behind, I can't remember who is who at this point. And that is what I get for just having a life. <laughs> but at the end of the day though, they will be all linked down below. Make sure you go check everybody out. Make sure that you check the pinned inspiration that I'm giving here from what Laura and I used. Obviously this is going up on a Monday and not Sunday. 
But still, at the end of the day, it is still Scrapless Sunday. I'm just a day late. Maybe a dollar short, maybe not, but it could be pretty close. So I did add some more fall stuff to this. I absolutely love because it is sweater weather right now. It's starting to get a little bit chillier in the mornings. I'm starting to pull out my boots and all that. So I thought adding the fall photos to this along with my coffee cup of hot cocoa looking and this fox is perfect. And my title is going to be Happy Place. And I hope that you are truly, truly enjoying this layout because I absolutely love, 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 love how this turns out. I do add a little bit of small journaling up there as well as doing a couple other things. Um, I will do my own journaling as well to this because I'm I'm not sure what I want to write yet, but I'm going to. So now I'm coming in with the enamel dots from the office space, I think it's called, from Pink Fresh Studio. Um, and I'm going to add a little bit. And then you'll see that I didn't glue this down yet. I thought I did, but I didn't. Once I picked it up, I was like, oops, I forgot to glue it down. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to glue this down. And then I realized that I should have done some more black stamping and then I add to it. It actually turns out still okay. I mean, it didn't mess up the layout at all. I just felt like up there in that corner, you'll see me start to work up there. I feel like that it's kind of like not finished. So I wanted to finish it out with something. So I'm just going through everything. I'm just making sure that it's all... Mark down or, you know, glue down and everything, cutting everything off that's off the edges so that at least it's flash, flat and flush throughout all of this. And then I come in and I'm like, you know what? I want to add some more stamping down below. So then I start to add a little bit here just to bring it down. And then you'll see what I do. And here, this is where I'm like, you know what? I need to add a little bit of something down here. And then I keep working back and forth. So then I take these pieces and it turns out wonderful. I am so glad I did this. So glad I did this. And I am making sure that all of it is stuck down. I do do a little bit of dimension there because it turns out wonderful. You'll see it in the still shots as well as, you know, the main photo that you will see with this. I do love how this turns out. I do come in and I finish up there on the top along with my splatters from Shimmers Paints. It's the Tuscan Sun, I think. Hold on here, let me look quick. Cause I know I said it wrong. Sunset Strip, that's what I got out. And then that's pretty much it. You will see me um, get out these books. I do cut one of this little book out because I thought that that would work perfect there to sit underneath the like the leaf that I have and then that rounds out the photograph and then what I do to add a little bit more to it is the oh excuse me the um splatters so that is it make sure you go check everybody out the still shots are coming up I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you soon bye